Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to do a super quick uh, mini review. Um, I was out today and I went to the mall and I found two perfumes that I've been wanting to try for over a year. Um, the first up is Cinnabar by Estee Lauder for Women. When I found out about this, just the name Cinnabar, I wanted to try it immediately and when I went and I found out you know warm spicy amber woody balsamic powdery cinnamon and then I took a look at the um the notes I thought how could I go wrong with this and there were so many times that I put it in my shopping cart thinking I know I'm gonna love this I know I'm gonna love this you know but something always kept me from from buying it and um and you want to know something? I am so, so happy I tried it in the store first because I absolutely hated it. Um, let's see. Let's go over the main accords. It is warm, spicy. It's very warm and very spicy. It is ambery. It is woody. It is balsamic. Powdery. I didn't find it overly powdery. I love like a good powdery perfume and... It's powdery, but I wouldn't call it like a powder bomb, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, and it's definitely cinnamon, cinnamony. Um, let's see. And the bottle doesn't look like that anymore. They've updated it. I'm guessing this is the the vintage bottle. Um, anywho. Cinnabar by Estee Lauder is an amber spicy fragrance for women. It was launched in 1978. So, let's see. See. Top notes are spices, clove, tangerine, peach, orange blossom, and bergamot. Bergamot. Um, it's definitely spicy. Definitely has cloves in there. Um, and yeah, I mean, I couldn't really hang on to the tangerine, peach, orange blossom, and bergamot, but I'm not surprised at all that they're in there. Um, middle notes, cinnamon. This is a very, very cinnamony um, fragrance. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of those, those red cinnamon bears. I don't know if they even still make those, but I used to make myself absolutely sick gobbling them up. You know, like you bite into it and it's just so hot and so spicy and so sweet. Um, it was like, it was like overdosing on a bunch of those. It was like getting like 20 of them and just shoving them in your mouth and just chewing them all at once. Um, carnation, you know, I don't, I don't get carnation in this. I'm guessing that all of this, Lang Lang, Jasmine Lily, Rose Lily of the Valley, it's all kind of invisible to me. Like, I don't doubt it's in there, but I, I really couldn't say that I picked up on it. Um, and I think, like I said in a couple of earlier videos, I'm not a big fan of carnation. Like, it's okay if it's blended in the background or it's well blended, but I'm not a fan of like a carnation heavy scent. Um, like if it leads with carnation, I'm finding that it's, it's not really for me. Let's see, base notes. There's incense, tolu balsam, which is, I've never heard of that one before. Amber, benzoin, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and vertiver. I can, yeah, I can definitely smell the incense. Um, I've never, I don't know what Tolu balsam is, but it kind of smells. I would imagine it would be, um, you know what, we can click on it and see. Musk, amber, animalic smell. Yeah, a sweet amber balsamic fragrance. In that case, yeah, I think it's really heavy on on that because there's there is a smell in here that kind of knocked me out I, I don't I don't really know how to describe it like I sprayed it and for a split second I really enjoyed like that strong hot spicy cinnamon smell but then something else kind of started to come out in it and it almost downright stunk and I'm kind of sad now because the smell is kind of going away. I wish I could have made the video when it was fresh. I'm smelling, it's been about four, it's been about four, almost five hours since I sprayed it. 
And it was strong for like a good three or four hours, you know, it's just barely now that it's starting to kind of go away. But it's kind of, I don't, I don't know. There was something kind of stinky. Oops. There was something kind of stinky about it that I really, that I really didn't like. Um, I, I don't really know how to describe it. It was, I found this perfume to be very overwhelming which it's almost impossible for me because I love really strong scents. Um, Obsession. I love Obsession. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor's Passion. I love that one. And I have a lot, a lot of others that are, that, you know, a lot of people would be like, oh, it's too strong. And I'm like, I love it, you know? So I'm not someone who shies away from like a really spicy, you know, strong scent. But this one, it was too much for me. And like I said, there was something in it that just did not, it, it kind of sat in the back of my throat. You know, it, it, I felt like it punched me in my throat and then just sat there. <laughs> and I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't know if it was like the overload of spices or clove. I don't know if the cinnamon was too much. I don't know if it's this Tolu balsam. I don't know. Maybe it was too much incense. I don't know what it was or if it was a combination of all those things. It was just too much. But there was just something in the background that I found stinky and overwhelming. I read a lot of the um, uh, uh, reviews and a lot of people were saying that it's been reformulated and it's nothing like it was in the 70s and 80s and I wish I could have smelled it back then but I I, I didn't get a chance to so I, I can't really um, join in on that um, and someone else said that it smells like it has uh, civet in it and it's very animalic and and I guess they were right. I don't see civet in this, but maybe the Tolu balsam is what kind of gives it that animalic smell. I mean, like, um, not animalic. It's what maybe gives it that civet scent. And maybe that's what I'm reacting to. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what to me is kind of what stinks about it. I'm not sure. But anyway, I am so happy that they had it in this store and I was able to try it because I've put this in my cart so many times and something always happens that I either forget about it or abandon the cart or take it out or whatever. And man, I would have been mad if I ordered a full bottle of this. Um, I would like to play with it though a little bit in the future. So maybe if I can find like a sample somewhere, I'd like to order a sample just, just to see. Because sometimes I'll have a bad reaction to a scent and then it kind of grows on me, you know, or like, Hmm, you know, but um, I won't be buying a full bottle anytime soon. Okay, moving on. The next scent that I had um, in my mind that I wanted to try for a really, 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 really long time was this one. Youth Do, also by Estee Lauder. Um, I love the bottle. I adore this bottle. But let's see, it's warm, spicy, definitely. Amber, yes. Balsamic, yes. Woody, yes. Powdery, yes. Yes, it is. Um, to me, this was a little bit more powdery than the Cinnabar. I keep wanting to call it Cinnabon. Um, let's see, earthy, yes. Smoky, yes. Sweet, yes. Cinnamon, yes. And I saw a lot of people saying that Cinnabar and this one were really... Um, really similar. We're really close. And you know what? It's true. But if I had to pick one that, like if you presented me with both and said, you know, you can only pick one, I would pick uh, Youth Do. As a matter of fact, I almost bought it, but I'm kind of on the fence and I'm not sure if I like it or not. When I first sprayed it, I absolutely loved it. But then as it dried down, it kind of reminded me of Cinnabar and there was something in it that I didn't quite like it wasn't as strong as no it's it's a very strong scent let me not say it wasn't as strong but 
it didn't annoy me as much as Cinnabar, but um, I don't know. Like I said, if I, between the two, I would buy this one. Um, but I'm not sure if I am going to splurge on a whole bottle or not. I think I'm also going to try and get a, um, a sample of this one and try and play around with it. Maybe try it for a couple of days and see. Um, let's see. This is an amber spicy fragrance. And this one was launched in 1953. Interesting. Interesting. Top notes. Spices. Definitely. Aldehydes. Yep. Narcissus. I couldn't tell you what one smelled like. Lavender. Hmm. I love lavender, but I couldn't really say I smelled it. Orange, bergamot, peach, didn't detect any of that. Spices, cloves, cinnamon, definitely. Rose, lang lang, jasmine, lily of the valley, cassia, orchid. Yeah, sure, I'm not surprised it's in there, but I couldn't pick up on any of those. Incense, definitely. Tolu balsam, yep, or tolu balsam, balsam, whatever. Peru, oh, Peru balsam, that's... Let's see, an intense, woody, coniferous, aromatic, ambery fragrance. <laughs> yes, definitely that's in there. I could detect all of that. Um, let's see. I would say that this one, like if I had to compare the balsams between the two, this one I would feel like has more of the Peru balsam in it and a little less of the Tolu balsam. If I had to, describing... Depend. Oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? Um, depending on the description, because I haven't really smelled either one of these scents alone, you know. But depend. Um, going off of what I just read, I would say that this one probably is a little more stronger on the Peru balsam than it is on the Tolu um, cinnabar just going by the description of the tolu i had a lot more tolu in it if if any of that made sense at all um oak moss oh my god i love oak moss um yeah i can imagine i can see oak moss being in here um let's see patchouli yeah i can see that amber yes vetiver yes vanilla yes and musk so Let's see, anything else? Others by Estee Lauder. Do, 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 do. So, so anyway, um, like I said, I almost bought this one. Come on. There we go. I almost bought this one because as soon as I sprayed it on, I really liked it. I really liked it when it was still wet. But as it dried down, I, I liked it a little less. Um... I do plan on trying to get my hands on some samples because when I when I try a perfume, I like to try it a couple of times, like over several days instead of just, you know, once. Um, I really doubt even with the repeat of Cinnabar that I would buy it. I might buy Youth Do. I'm not sure. Um, right now I'm kind of 50-50 on the, on the fence. Um, I would have to see how you feel wearing it for like the whole day and like reapplying it once it wore off. Um, anyway, that was it. I was super excited. I wasn't expecting um, to drop into, you know, a department store and I wasn't expecting to see these two, which I've had my eye on for over a year. So I just wanted to share with you guys and that'll be it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have um, anything to say about these two, I would love to hear it in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.